If you're a gambler, I want you to ask yourself one question. When are you going to stop? This isn't a loaded question. This isn't the same as my previous video as to whether you should quit now or quit later or when the best time to quit gambling is. This is a genuine question. And it's one I had to ask myself several times before I figured there was no real answer. When are you going to stop? What is, to use a business analogy, what is your exit strategy? No more bets, please. Hi guys and welcome to this video. Um, firstly, my apologies, my eyes are a bit red and I look a bit puffy. Um, hay fever is particularly bad today and I can't stop sneezing, so uh, you might spot a lot of jump cuts in this uh, in this video when I keep editing out my own sneezing. Um, also, thanks very much to any new subscribers, the people who have started commenting on my videos as well, even those who keep calling me Tubby Tubster or something similar. Good observation, guys, but thanks for your views and your comments nonetheless. So this is a very important question. It's one I had to ask myself several times and I, I could never really find an answer within myself. The question is, what is your exit strategy? Where do you see this gambling leading? And if you can't see it leading anywhere, why persevere with it? The ultimately, I could only come up with one answer and it was one that I would never fulfil. And that answer, of course, was winning the lottery. If you win the national lottery, the lotto as it's known now, or lotto or whatever it's called now, or you win Euro Millions even better and you can win 40 or 50, 60 million pounds, then yes, I can understand there is a point at which you then quit gambling altogether. Whether or not you would is another consideration. We can't tell that. But anything other than that, anything other than an amount of money which is allowed to allow you to retire entirely and never have to be concerned about money again, is any amount of money leading up to that point ever going to be enough for you to turn around and say enough is enough? With certain forms of gambling, it's fairly obvious there isn't an exit strategy. Pub fruit machines with the jackpot's £100. You know, £100 are a, a nice amount of money. It's a couple of meals out. It's a, a good night on the town. It's a little gift for yourself or your, your significant other. In the bookies, it's £500. £500 is much nicer. It could be a deposit on a holiday. It could be a holiday. It's a good amount of money. Neither of these amounts would be significant enough for you to walk away altogether and to say enough is enough. So what is enough? There are forms of gambling where, of course, the prizes can be much, much higher. You can gamble online. You can gamble at a bricks and mortar casino where basically the potential winnings are limitless. However, the chances of reaching these limitless wins are incredibly minute and depend entirely on your bankroll and the point at which you feel would be sufficient to make you walk away. Any lesser amount will not do. We know as gamblers we're greedy. A lesser amount will not do and we will always push for that bit more and that bit more. Now when we say we push for a bit more that might not even be on that occasion. Maybe we will be happy with a two, three hundred pound win on the fob tee. Maybe we will be happy with that hundred pound jackpot. But of course, any win will just spur you on to try and replicate that win, to win some more. Conversely, we know that any loss will just push you on to try and win back that loss. So realistically, when can you quit? I honestly wish that every gambler would ask themselves this question. When will enough be enough? When will a win be enough that will make you go, right, I'm happy, I'm never going to gamble again. I don't genuinely believe there's a point at which that will tip over from spurring you on to try and win more to actually saying enough is enough, I've had my win, I'm going to stop. Maybe hypothetically in your head there will be that figure, but in reality if you say you won 10,000, 100,000 tomorrow, can you honestly say, hand on heart, that you wouldn't go back and you wouldn't gamble, probably with higher stakes, betting more and more, until you're back to the same stage all us gamblers end up at, and that's at zero. The only exception to this I can see is the National Lottery. Those forms of gambling which could totally change your life, could make you completely financially self-sufficient for the rest of your days. But let's face it, the odds of winning those are millions and millions to one. So for the rest of us gamblers, just ask yourself, what is my exit strategy? When will enough be enough? What win is enough that won't send me back trying to win more? Or won't send me back trying to chase those losses? It's not going to happen in the pub. 
It's not going to happen in the bookies. It's very unlikely to happen online or in a bricks and mortar casino. And let's face it, for most of us gamblers, the National Lottery is a bit of a non-event. We're not that interested in it. The, the, the format is too slow. We have to wait so long for the results. And you can't chase your losses. So have a think about this next time you could put a bet on. Think, when will I stop? And if you can't find yourself a genuine answer, then maybe you'll never stop. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was uh, at least interesting. Um, I'm trying to build the channel a little bit, trying to reach a few more people. So if you did like the video or you thought it might be uh, informative, then pop a, a like on the video, put a subscribe in for me, and uh, I'll see you again on the next one. Thanks a lot. No more bets, please.